Hello there everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Outpost, I am John. Today we're taking a look at another Hot Toys figure, this is Axe Woves from Mandalorian Season 2. As some of you might know, I love collecting the Mandalorian figures, I just want a whole army of Mandalorian figures. Now, when you watch the Mandalorian Season 2, you'll know that all of these guys, including Bo-Katan, take their helmets off so you can see their faces. Bo-Katan did come with a head sculpt. And unfortunately, Axe Wolves does not come with a head sculpt, and I'm not really understanding why, unless they just couldn't get the licensing for it, but Hasbro has it in a black series, so I don't know why they didn't give us a head sculpt with this figure. But anyway, let's start digging down. Uh, this is that nice artwork right on the inside flap. Let's get this little guy out of his clamshell here. Now, the first thing you'll obviously know is that, yes, the head sculpt is missing. That is such a shame. There are also not many accessories at all. Like the Bo-Katan figure, they gave us this cardboard backdrop, which will uh, sit in the box till the end of time because I have no place for it in a display. And I, don't, I don't really think it looks all that great anyway. We have one of the typical Star Wars stands here with that kind of grill look and a metal plate on front that says Star Wars and Axe Wolves along with the typical flight stand that comes with the Mandalorian. And here we have his blaster. He only comes with one, uh, and I do believe it's the exact same one that bo has here. It is pretty clean, but it does have a tiny bit of weathering on it, some oil stains and a little bit of grime in the corners there. He comes with his jetpack, which is just completely beat up and weathered to heck. Lots of gashes and dirt in the corners. They, of course, did a great job weathering up this jetpack. And of course, the jetpack does come with the rocket flames, beautiful translucent paint from orange to yellow that you stuff right up the rear end here. The best thing about the jetpack, it is magnetized, so it snaps right onto the back of the figure. They give us very few hands here, but honestly, with only a gun as an accessory, I don't really know what else you would really need. Now, it is kind of hard to see from afar, but when you get up nice and close, there is a tiny bit of weathering around the hands here. All right, here he is, Mr. Axe Woves, in a very simple pose that uh, hopefully won't fall off the turntable. I absolutely love the contrast of colors. Uh, blue is my favorite color, so to see it next to these browns and darker, you know, earthy tones and everything, it really adds that nice pop feel of color for me. Let's take a look at that big old bucket on his head. We've got scars and scratches and washes, and man, this thing is filthy and it's beat up this guy has been through some serious battle and on top of that bucket that rangefinder does articulate up and down and if his helmet looks like that the rest of his armor is going to be just as beat up we've got dents and scratches everywhere on the chest plates on the shoulder plates just a fantastic job that hot toys always does weathering up the armor pieces and the gauntlets are also beautifully detailed and weathered now, of course, that armor is sitting on a couple of pieces of pleather here with beautiful tiny stitching the gun holster on the side is magnetized, so that'll snap right into place there. I do wish that this belt buckle was metal, but it does feel like plastic, and it's attached to a pleather belt. However, I thought that the pouches were also pleather. They're sculpted in there. They do feel like plastic. They're done so well. And of course, all that beautiful paintwork and denting and chipping moves down into the thigh plates, into the knee pads, which are beautifully painted and down into another disappointed area for me. I don't understand why Hot Toys did this. Now I want to refer over to the Mandalorian where they have a boot cut, but it's all sculpted in. We don't have to worry about things falling apart over time. But now zipping back to Axe Woves, we have a pleather top of the boot along with a sculpted bottom. Why are they so inconsistent on how they make these boots? They gave us these sculpted belt pouches, but then they gave us the leather parts on the boot. I don't understand what the inconsistency is. Just give us two sculpted pieces and get rid of the pleather. All right, well, here he is joining his band of Mandalorians. I know a lot of people collect the troopers, the clone troopers, and they have a whole army worth of those figures, but I am really on the kick of trying to get all of the Mandalorian figures. And with the new Mandalorian Season 3 coming out, I know there's going to be a slew of new Mandalorians coming out, so this collection is going to grow really quick in the next couple of years. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop down and hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, share, and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. I do have a lightsaber giveaway coming up at 10,000 subscribers along with Vader Sabers, so make sure you are a part of the Outpost crew here so you don't miss the information on that. All right, everybody, I'll see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.